Hello and welcome back to another edition of the Medic Electrical Plugin. Um, this is Nathan Wilkerson and I am going to walk you through a few more things regarding this new plugin. Um, I just finished releasing version 1.00, the first initial full release, and so just kind of wanted to uh, show you a few more quirks and things about this plugin so that uh, you can find it a little bit more um, easy to use. So to get started I just went ahead and drew a uh, simple uh, little uh, garage like structure I guess with the wall plugin and, and the other plugins and again um, this plugin also now can work with um, basic walls uh, geometry um, and also it now is, uh, should be able to work with a uh, John Brock's wall framer framer for SketchUp plugin so I'm trying to make it as uh, flexible as possible and so it's not just um, limited to the Medic uh, uh, walls and, and other geometry. So to get started um, I just wanted to show you first of all the new updated uh, electrical menu here. Um, <coughs> so we've added a few more things since the last time I think. Uh, we have now uh, this uh, safety devices and lights that has recently been added and also we should now be able to edit every electrical device so it is now parametric <coughs> so I'm going to drop that back in there um, so let's take a look at ceiling mounted uh, light fixtures to begin with so when you first click on the um, light fixture uh, uh, icon right here. You, usually it'll come up, uh, and actually I've been using it here, so typically it comes up with wall mounted as the option. We'll, we'll go ahead and show that. Um, so you can choose your your box of course. I'll just go ahead and choose this box. And you'll notice too this red highlighting that's showing up as you change items. That was actually was a feature requested by someone on the boards there and actually I, I think it's actually a really good idea it shows you what you've changed and then once you do make the update it goes away so um, with these built-in lights there is only three currently of course um, you're going to want to uh, select the W uh, ceiling the C stands for ceiling W of course stands for wall um, and so that'll be a wall mounted one Hit update and we can go ahead and put that on the wall for instance okay and actually um, we want to do is turn off our sheathing here on the wall so we can see what we're looking at. <coughs> Actually, let's turn off our gypsum too while we're at it. Okay. So, as before, of course, this is not right because it's floating out in the middle of it anywhere, but um, as before, basically, you can uh, adjust the justification by hitting the control key. And when I do that, you'll notice that the mouse is. Um, um, one thing to note too is when this menu, this HTML menu is highlighted or focused like it is right now and then you try to hit the control key it's not going to do anything so basically you have to, and I like to usually click my middle mouse button to get back in the model and notice the highlighting or the focus goes off of the HTML menu and back to the main SketchUp window. Once it does that then you can hit your control key toggle your justification so you just need to be aware of that because sometimes people have noticed that um, they can't they're hitting their control key and nothing's happening and, and it's because this menu is folk in focus see now it's in focus again okay so um, <coughs> close that out uh, just as normal hit the space bar will jump you out of any of these tools I'm gonna hit the delete key here I'm gonna go ahead and delete that one so let's go ahead and edit this one here um, <coughs> So basically just hit edit and you just select the item you want to edit. And for instance, we can always change the name. Let's just name it, say light five. And this time I'm going to change the box. Okay. And so now I've got this uh, strap thing going on. Um, and you know that strap uh, one, for instance, may not be, uh, you know, aligned properly in the wall. And rather than recreating it, we can actually 
um, we can move uh, this we can actually jump into the wall and move this over or move it anywhere actually for that matter if, if need be and it will keep that information so we don't really need a, an additional move function we can just use the built-in SketchUp move commands to move any of our fixtures about in the model and notice that these um, <coughs> these light fixtures are part of this wall panel so if you were to move this wall panel or rebuild it or whatever that that fixture will go with it so it's not going to you know get disconnected from it okay so let's go ahead and I'm gonna do some stuff with ceiling mounted light fixtures now I'm gonna turn back on the gypsum and one thing to note is <coughs> when you're doing walls wall mounted devices you can turn the sheathing and the gypsum off and you can basically lock on to these um, studs but the difference here with the ceiling mounted is that the way I have it set up currently you cannot you cannot really lock on to these um, these rafters you you need to figure out where your position is going to go with either guidelines or something and then you're going to want to actually have the gypsum or ceiling treatment or whatever turned on like that and then you're going to want to be because what's happening is, is this the, <coughs> the plugin is looking for a face to mount to rather than um, looking at the overall uh, assembly and trying to figure out where you want to put it on that assembly and I'll explain why in a second but to make things easier let's go ahead and just turn this hide this foundation just get this out of our way kind of for now um, so we can get at the underside like that so <coughs> yeah really easy let's go ahead and um, yeah, that's fine. Let's let's go ahead and use this uh, one that's suspended here. Deal. And I'm gonna hit update, and then I'm just gonna go in here, and then oh, and we need to go. Okay, so so right now it's on wall, right? So if you try to click and put it on this ceiling, it does. It's looking for a wall panel, and see, it finds a wall panel when you mouse over wall panel. But if we want to have it on the ceiling, hit that, and now notice that as we're mousing over this surface it's it's finding that surface okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and click and there's our, our uh, and you can see the box is there as well now maybe we don't want that box it's not the right box maybe we need a box like this okay and of course that's not the right direction so we're gonna rotate that box 90 now we've got a box like that and if we look at the box here it's actually this deal okay granted it's not in the right spot but we would need to kind of plan that out beforehand but I'm not going to get into all that right now <coughs> um, so like I said you need to you need to uh, be on the, the face that you're placing it on and the reason for that is because there might be situations where you're putting on a face like this up here know in an eave or somewhere where you're dropping lights in there um, and so because of that it, it, it needs to know you know it's, it doesn't know that it's dropping in the ceiling it's just putting it wherever this face is so for instance um, let's just go back to say I don't know it doesn't really matter I guess so I'm gonna put a See, and so you know you can put a you can put a light on a on a plane that's not, uh, you know, it's it's not <coughs> vertical or horizontal. It can be an inclined plane, so you can put it in vaulted ceilings, that sort of thing. <coughs> so um, let's go look at the edit function. So now, of course, you can edit these lights to your heart's desire. Uh, let's change it up again to this other light. Granted, I've only got two lights in there, so it's not very exciting, but um, you can add in additional <coughs> light fixtures at any time. Um, so what's happening too is when you click on this draw or edit menu, um, it, these light fixtures are pulling actually from uh, the, f the, the project or the SketchUp plugin folder. So let me show you that real quick, just so you know where to go for that. And this is on Windows, of course. Uh, Mac is going to be just a little bit different. Um, let's go into the plugin folder itself. 
and here we are so Medic electrical extension and then <coughs> under um, library this one right here under the inside the plugin folder you have a number of subfolders okay um, light fixtures and here they all are so there's your three so basically if you want to add additional light fixtures you just set them up drop them in there and the plugin will find them and I recommend you know using names that aren't don't have a lot of special characters or anything but you should be fine um, and same thing goes actually now with safety features now granted only four of these are actually live uh, the carbon monoxide the exit signs the horn strobe and the smoke detector Okay, so those four are, are the only four that are actually live right now in the plugin. So, for instance, in the smoke detector, you've got a couple options here a ceiling mounted and a wall mounted uh, smoke detector. Same thing with the carbon, doc carbon monoxide, you've got a ceiling mounted and a wall mounted variant. Uh, we'll demonstrate that here in just a second. And then emergency light, or not emergency light, exit signs. I actually have quite a few variants. Um, and granted, you, like I said, you can modify these files, you can drop additional ones in there, you can create your own, you just drop them in here, and then the plugin will pick them up and you can use them. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just, again, so that, that uh, folder is called the library folder, and all of your different things, you've got your boxes in here. <coughs> so, um, let's jump out of that again. So let's go ahead and do a ceiling mounted uh, exit sign. So right now it's on wall. We want to set that to ceiling. Um, by default it's going to come up with none. So you can see you've got quite a few in here. Let's just go with the green one. And, and these uh, are actual manufacturer part numbers. So, uh, you know, to, trying to keep it fairly, fairly organized. So I'm just going to show you here. Let's just okay, so there's that. And then <coughs> let's edit that. So for instance, let's say that you don't have that oriented right. We'll go ahead and edit it. Okay, so now it's coming up with this one. Now we want to turn that 90 degrees. And there we go. Then we have a 90 degree one. And there's a whole, a whole bunch here with different options. So, you know if you needed like a red one or something <coughs> there's a red one actually that's a wall mount one so that is not the correct uh, one that we want for this application so we would want to actually do ceiling mount yeah and let's just for uh, for heck of it uh, let's, let's let's go ahead and do a wall mount one so so again so, you know some of these um, models are designed for ceiling and some are for wall so if you use the wrong one um, it's not going to look right so you need to make sure you know which one you're actually using I guess um, let's go ahead and do wall mount and in this case now we're going to do this one here Hit update and I'm just going to come over here on the side of this wall uh, let's see Okay, and see so you've got yourself a. <coughs> now, granted, this is coming out to the uh, flush to the uh, case or the cladding, and that's why it, the box looks where it's at. See. So and actually, we're past the cladding a little bit, so I'll need to take a look at that. I may have that one slightly misconfigured. Um, the thing to note too is also these <coughs> typically these symbols are being put at the bottom of the wall but with the ceiling mount symbols currently I have them basically 12 inches off of these uh, the XY plane and you'll notice too that they're not part of the actual group within the light itself like this is the light group the symbol is not it's it's actually on a separate group um, that is part of the the main ceiling or roof assembly 
see it, it contains those um, and what that and there's a reason why I do that but one thing to note is that if you were to move I'm going to delete a few of these out of here just because I got too much going on um, okay so we've got this one right here okay great so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually move this particular light fixture um, and to do that I just click into the group and I grab the regular old move tool and I'm going to I'm going to bring it way over here for instance okay so you notice that the this here for the floor plan the light the light or the electrical floor plan um, that did not move with it right so that's a problem but it's really not because what we do is to, we just need to regenerate our light fixture so we just click edit hit that and don't change don't necessarily need, need to change anything just hit update and then it will draw uh, that back where it needs to be and um, Yeah, that's uh, a basic overview again of some of the features of this uh, electrical plugin. Uh, we've got you know panels now. Uh, we can draw here, like for instance. I'll throw it in there. Um, you got different different sizes of panels. Uh, lots of options here as far as that goes. Let's go to 100 amp. Let's go. Sure, eight breakers. Hit update. And you've got all sorts of variations of panels. Um, <coughs> so, I think most of the basics are set up with this plugin now. Um, the next thing might be some uh, ability to assign circuits and assign different fix or light fixtures and and device electrical devices to separate circuits. So we might we might come up with a circuit manager, and of course the estimating piece where you can uh, basically get a print out of everything that you've got configured that is something coming up here in the future so um, yeah anyways uh, if you have any questions give me a holler I'm always interested in feedback on this um, this is a very new plugin it's only just a few weeks old so there's always plenty to uh, improve with it I'm sure so I appreciate your support and uh, we'll keep developing this one thank you